Okay, so Charles Morse here. I'm gonna talk to you guys about um about the uh, Nintendo Switch stock sales. So as you have seen that the prices have gone down. Uh, I. I believe that Nintendo is really trying to do their best here to actually bring those sales back, the stock back up. Or the percentage that was listed on the charts. And, um, I have noticed that there have been leaks about a Nintendo Direct, um, last Sunday on the 22nd. And I have looked on a video, and I have seen, um, this, this YouTuber who is named RG, RGT85, he said that there is n not going to be a direct on a Sunday, meaning that video game companies don't have most video game companies don't run on a Sunday they they have business days that are not on a Sunday so whoever got the idea that Nintendo Direct was going to happen on July 22nd I gotta tell you that it was it was on a Sunday, and of course that was going to be false, and that's what RGT85 said. So, obviously, that's, that wasn't happening on the 22nd. Now, if I, now if I'm going to be c correct on this, um, Nintendo may have a future Nintendo Direct probably somewhere in August, but we will just have to see. But Nintendo, Nintendo knows that they're not doing so well right now. So, what, what I would expect would, I would expect them to have a future direct. <coughs> Later this year, excuse me for that. Um, what I must say is Nintendo Switch is doing very well, and a lot of people are really, really panicking, uh, and uh, everybody is thinking that oh, the Nintendo Switch it, it has it failed going down, and it's going to fail like the Wii U has. Of course, that's why people want to just take their money out of Nintendo, because they think that the Switch is just going to be another failure, which I have to disagree. The Nintendo Switch is doing fairly well. It's just the fact that their E3 was not as big as... EA, uh, Microsoft, um, Sony, that their stocks have gone down because of E3, and Nintendo knows that they need to announce more games, and they would know exactly why their sales is going down, but to have a Nintendo Direct on the, on the 22nd, which is the Sunday, that wasn't really, that wasn't really likely to happen, so, I'm just gonna tell you, Nintendo is really trying hard on this, um, we might get a Nintendo Direct in mid-August, or probably October or November, and, uh, and to say more about that, we might even get, like, that, um, another Nintendo, um, Switch Direct based on, um, Super Smash Brothers, which would be a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Direct, and, um, 
if I remember correctly, I'm sure that Sakurai would probably have like a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct close to um, the holiday release of the game to further like um, talk about um, how the game is going to work and that would be my guess right there. Um, I could also say that like after release um, that he might end up putting in DLC characters in there like he did last time. I'm not entirely sure if he's going to do that because he put in a lot of characters in this new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Switch. But maybe the Switch can handle more DLC characters. I have no idea. But anyway. Um, yeah, the whole point of me making this video was um, you don't. People should not be freaking out about Nintendo and taking their money out of Nintendo because um, the Nintendo Switch sales are dropping and that everybody is thinking that Nintendo is just going to make the Switch what, another failure like the Wii U which is not the tr truth really Nintendo Switch has been doing fairly well I'm going to say that again and everybody should know that the Nintendo Switch is going to have a really good future. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to tell anyone that the Nintendo Switch is going to have a bad future because it already has. It has a successful 2017 and soon it's going to have a successful 2018 and then we're going to see what 2019 brings us. Because I believe that the Nintendo Switch is going to be another, is going to have another great success for 2019 and beyond that. And of course, a future E3 in 2019 is not going to be like, like this month, or this year, I should say. It happened in June. So, I would not doubt that this next N Nintendo E3 for next year is going to end up like, 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 like 2018s. So, this future Nintendo Direct, whenever they release whenever they um release further information about it um we'll probably hear about animal crossing on the switch um definitely about pokemon let's go e eevee and pikachu and there will be more um there will be more updates on new games and that stuff now, if you probably have not noticed, um, I've also been on watching Spawn Wave and IGN and Switch Force, that stuff. And Nintendo has also used these other sources to um, update gamers on new games that are coming out for the Switch. So, you might want to check that out too, because... Nintendo is actually doing their best right now while they're on a sales drop with the Nintendo Switch. And as I've always, as I'm, I'm going to say this, um, Rich from Review Tech USA said that the Nintendo Switch is nothing to, the sales drop on the Nintendo Switch is nothing to freak out about. So, we're going to see what the rest of 
the year brings us, I can just foresee that there would be a, another direct somewhere later this year. Now, my estimates is going to probably be in August to November. I have no proof of what, when the Nintendo Direct be, but my guess in that, in those, in those three months, are probably accurate. This, this won't end up being, uh, this won't end up being another failure. Nintendo Switch is going to go, is going to have a great 2019 and 2020, and then beyond that. And they're going to, Nintendo will always, are going to, um, make, um, E3s have more, have their E3 have, they're going to have, like, more announcements for future, future games that are coming out, and this E3 is actually, it was, I'm going to say Nintendo's mistake, almost, because Nintendo realizes that their short E3 have 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 had their sales drop um by 30% I believe and this E3 they're going to look back at this E3 and they're going to be and they're going to think that okay so we know why this why this E3 was bad and why our sales had dropped but they would make their future E3s bigger than 2018's. Now, you may not have noticed, but I think, I would seriously think Nintendo would actually make bigger E3s in the future because they're going to learn from their mistake this year, which, which, which is 2018. And they're going to want to make a better E3. A better E3 where they're not going to um, announce less. Because annou announcing less games in your at your E3 event is not going to do you any good. And... People want people want more information. They don't want um, they don't want an E3 that is just focused on one big game. They want they want an E3 that focuses on multiple games that are coming out. Now, I'm going to say probably back in 2016, somewhere they've. Um, they have um, announced a lot of games. Um, it might not be 2016. That might have been 2014. But uh, I'm just gonna say that this. Um, I'm seriously going to say that. The E3s in 2019 and 2020 are going to be big, and this is going to help, um, help with Nintendo's sales in the future, and this will help make the Switch one of the, um, consoles that nobody had ever thought Nintendo would, would have made possible. I mean, I, I actually like the Switch, to be honest, because what it can do is you, could, you can take it on the go with you, 
And one of my favorite games that I always like to play on the go with me at most of the time. Uh, I haven't really played Minecraft on the go recently, but I have been um, I have been playing other games on the Switch, such as Pocket Tournament, and um, sometimes Fire on the Wars, Blaster Master Zero, Shantae's and Pirate's Curse, and Sonic Mania. Uh, and in the future, I am going to be really, really um, be playing. Team Sonic Racing on the I mean Sonic 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 Racing Transform um, that was actually a really good game to play on the go uh, the problem was there was this one stage that was um, if you did so many tricks on the 3DS, it would just cut, cause your screen to freeze instantly. And I think with the release of Sonic Racing on the Switch, it probably is going to fix all that. Uh, I would have got Sonic and All-Stars Racing transformed on the Wii U, but... Uh, you can't really take the Wii U on the go with you. Uh, technically, you could take it on the go to other places. Um, but you would actually need to bring all that wiring and all that other stuff. And the Nintendo Switch is probably more convenient to take on the go. Because all you need to do is just take, um, all you need to do is, like, take a cord with you, um, the USB charger. Um, and the dock and the switch itself, plus the Joy-Cons, and your, and your case to keep your, uh, multiple switch games with you. And, that, that's completely convenient of Nintendo to be making a console that you could take on the go with you. I mean, obviously there's another, um... There's another console out there that was made back in the past that kind of steals Nintendo's concept, but not really. Um, pretty much, I think they might have got the idea from NVIDIA Shield to make the Switch. Like, I believe Nintendo and NVIDIA helped make the Switch together. That it wasn't just Nintendo's idea. I think. I think it was. I think it was Nvidia that helped give them th that idea for making the Nintendo Switch. Um. Um. Nvidia had the same kind of concept. So if you also notice, there was a controller that you took on the go with you when you took your tablet with you. If you. If anybody owns an NVIDIA Shield, which I'm probably sure not many people do, but, um, the NVIDIA Shield had the same kind of concept. You could take it on the go with you, but, um, to play with the controller while you were in the car or on an airplane, it was kind of hard. I've never been in an airplane, airplane honestly, but... I would probably guess that playing your NVIDIA Shield on an airplane would probably help with, um, uh, what am I gonna, how am I gonna say this? I'm gonna say, um, I would totally agree that the NVIDIA Shield and the controller be much more, um, enjoyable to play on the, um, on an airplane, because you don't have to deal with all those, um, potholes in the road, in the road, or, you know, deep turns, and your, and your shield be just 
sliding off of you and, you know, I would just say that Nintendo Switch would be more convenient to play on the go because you don't have to have a controller right in front of you and then set your Switch on a, um, with its kickstand up on the, up on, like, say your car seat or, or on top of the, um, on top of the seat between the, between the driver and the, um, co-passenger. Um, yeah. Nvidia Shield has been doing well. I mean, I haven't heard anything from Review Tech USA or, um, or RGT85 about Nvidia Shield, um, sales dropping. I don't think that Nvidia has ever had, um, E3s on the NVIDIA Shield, or about NVIDIA Shield games, they do happen to come up with, um, updates about new NVIDIA Shield games on GeForce and, 